Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a guide to using the Elements tool in GoodNotes. It's actually such a powerful tool if you know how to use it and just everything that it can do because it's actually more powerful than most people realize. So that's what I'm going to be sharing in today's video in detail is just everything it can do and how you can use it yourself. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with using elements in GoodNotes. First off, I just want to talk about using elements. So as you can see by this icon here in your toolbar, this icon is your elements icon. So to use them, you just click on it and then it will open up this little pop-up window. I'm pretty sure when you get GoodNotes, you get these ones as default in your app. So these are just ones that GoodNotes gives you. So to use them, you just tap on whichever one you want and it will be inserted kind of like an image in your document and you can resize them and place them anywhere you want. And also like we will be discussing, you can also make your own elements and include them into your documents as well. It's just really convenient because it makes all these little things that you have readily available here in the app with just going through here. So that is how you use elements, but let's get into more detail about some other things. So first off, you will see you can get elements in the marketplace. So GoodNotes has its own marketplace, which I found these ones in their marketplace. These are free if you are a subscriber of GoodNotes 6. So when you go all the way to the right, you will see there is this marketplace little icon that you can go to and then it will take you to the marketplace or you can just find it here in this tab in your GoodNotes home menu. So here you will see stickers and then you can buy a lot of these stickers or some of them are free like this one that says free for subscribers. Um, so you can just go through here, as you can see, there's another free one that you can just install. So I'm just going to click on this one here and then we're just going to click on free. And once it's done loading, it will give this pop up that is creating a new element section and you can just click on create. So now if I go back to our document here, I can just go ahead and go to elements here at the top. And here is the new collection that was created and I can just import that into GoodNotes, just like that, which is actually really cool. So use the marketplace if you're looking for some cool elements. And like I said, they have some free ones on there as well. Now to create a collection, it's quite easy. All you need to do is in your elements section, go all the way to the right again and click on this little plus button. And then this will pop up and you can give a title to your collection. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to call this December stickers. So now to import these stickers, you can choose either from photos or from files. So mine are located in files, but obviously if you have photos you want to add, you can do that. So I'm just going to click on import from. So this is the sticker pack that I want to import. This sticker pack I mentioned in my previous plan with me, so you can go get it in that video. But yeah, so I want to import this. How you do that is you can either just tap on it and then it will import one, go back, import one, but that will take a lot of time, so you can already see my next title, bulk import. To bulk import a bunch of stickers, that's not going to go one by one. All you need to do is go into split screen mode. So I'm going to go and drag over files to the side, and then I'm just going to select all of these. So you can just click on select all at the top also if you want to. I'm just going to deselect this one and this one that I already imported. And then I'm just gonna hold down and drag those over into GoodNotes. So now all those stickers are imported here to this collection. And also you can choose which one you want to make your key image. So maybe I'm gonna go for this one here. So I'm just gonna hold down and drag this one to the first spot. And now that will be the kind of cover image for this collection. And then just click on create and then it will create that collection for you. So now I can easily just use these stickers in GoodNotes. I don't have to go into file each time to kind of retrieve them. They're right here, easily accessible. So we've already covered bulk import. Now let's get into editing a collection. So I've created this collection here. Now say I wanna add some more stickers to this particular collection. All you have to do to edit it is just tap on the name here at the top and then it will open this up. And then again, you can click import from or add photos. Other options you have is holding down on your image here at the bottom, clicking on edit, or you can share this collection or you can delete it as well. So that is how you edit collections inside GoodNotes. And to view a collection in split screen view, all you need to do is go to your element section, go to the one you want to view, and then just click on this little icon here that looks like a split screen. And then it will be here at the side. So now you can easily navigate these, go into different ones. It's just really 
handy to have this right here. And then obviously you can just go ahead and hold down on an element and then drag that over and that will import that into your document just like that. Now a really cool thing with elements is that you can make custom elements out of anything you make in GoodNotes. So for instance, this section here, as you can see, here I have, this is an element I think that I got from the GoodNotes pack. So that's kind of like an image. Let's use the image tool. As you can see, it's an image. And then this is a shape that I drew with a pen tool. And then this here is text. So now say I wanna reuse this often and I want quick access to it. I can just go ahead, make sure you have everything selected in your lasso tool that is here. So I want my images, handwriting and text boxes all selected. I'm gonna outline this, tap on it, and go here to add element. So now as you can see, it gives me a preview of what that's gonna look like. I'm just gonna add this to stickers here. And now when I go to that elements section, go to stickers, there it is saved right here. Now I can go ahead and import that and reuse that. What's really cool about this though, is depending on the tool you have selected, you can edit all these individual pieces. So with the elements tool selection, if I tried to select one individual thing, it's not gonna work. It kind of groups it together. So that's kind of how you can make a group in GoodNotes. But if I go ahead and switch to the image tool here, tap on this little thing, I can actually resize and interact with that. So maybe I want it smaller or just rotate it a bit. The text, I, if I select the text tool and I tap on the text, I can actually edit that. So let's go ahead and just write hello. And with the lasso tool selected, I'm gonna select the, sh the shape that I drew. I'm gonna go to color and I'm gonna change the color to something else, so maybe like that. So now I've edited all that, those individual pieces, but if I switch back to the elements tool, Again, it will just be one piece, one group that I can still resize and move around. But again, if I switch to the other individual tools like the image tool, I can still edit those. But with the elements tool, it's kind of saved as a group. So that is how you interact with custom elements to kind of make it easier on you to save presets, but you can still edit them kind of like the text or the color to fit whatever you are using it in. But that is everything that I wanted to cover on GoodNotes Elements. It's a very helpful tool that I highly recommend. So that was the Elements tool in GoodNotes. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new and it was helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other questions about this. If you have any tips that I missed about the Elements tool, definitely leave those in the comments down below as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.